Hey everybody, welcome back to All About The Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today we're gonna be talking about Hustlers. So Hustlers is rated R. It is uh, considered a drama thriller and it's an hour and 50 minutes long set to come out september the 13th um, it stars of course um jennifer lopez as ramona constance Wu as destiny uh lenny reinhardt as annabelle cardi b as diamond uh julia styles as jennifer kiki palmer mercedes All right, so hustlers was an entertaining movie it wasn't as great as i thought it was going to be to be honest with you i mean don't get me wrong it was good it had its um it had its moments, but I just expected it to be just like way more than what we got. I feel like it's really getting way, you know, too hype, which should have been my first clue that it wasn't going to be as great because if you kind of notice on certain movies, when a film gets like over promoted, about nine times out of 10, the movie kind of fall short like in my opinion I'm actually really shocked about all the um, Oscar talk that they um, are giving it um, they're saying that Jennifer Lopez could possibly be nominated uh, for her performance as Ramona I mean don't get me wrong her performance was really good in this film but to be like Oscar worthy I really don't think that that it is it's based off of an article that was written by uh, Julia Stiles character Jennifer. Honestly, I feel like Julia Stiles should have been doing more of the uh, press junkets over uh, Cardi B because Cardi B really is not in this film as much. You know, they're just trying to get like all of um, Cardi B's um, fans to go out there and really um, sell a lot of tickets uh, promoting her in this and she's really, her and Lizzo, they're not really in this movie that much. Uh, they have a really short amount of screen time. I really did wish though that we did get more Cardi in here. The short amount of screen time that we did get of hers was really enjoyable she was really funny um, I'm gonna try to keep this um, spoiler free as best as I can because y'all yeah, know I'm good for it and Jennifer Lopez's character Ramona is basically like the um, matriarch of the uh, whole group um, we're getting the story more so from the point of view of Constance uh, Wu's character which is Destiny um, she's the one that's kind of getting interviewed kind of, uh, goes back and forth from the uh, present well present 2015 to uh, the past which would kind of goes between I believe it was like 07 08 and then we went up to about 20 uh 12 I think it was and then finally the interview which I believe was like 2015 20 uh 2014 2015 if I'm not mistaken I could be completely off on those dates uh but I kind of feel it's, it's a little bit irrelevant the only year that's pretty much relevant here would be um 08 which is when the stock market crashed which is the reason why they kind of went from what they were doing to the more bigger hustle that they were doing there towards the end um you know all the rich people that were coming all the uh, wall street guys stopped coming in because well they had no money and you know kind of fall on hard times you know some time passes by and then uh ramona ends up having this kind of different idea of how to make more money so the movie pretty much just kind of starts off with uh constance Wu, uh, which is destiny um going into this new strip club she pretty much ends up getting taken under ramona's wing and kind of shows her the ropes of how to properly make money there early on we do get this really good like um dance from jennifer lopez i mean she pretty much killed it i mean she's fucking 50 like those are goals like can i look that way like now it kind of goes hand in hand with um matthew mcconaughey and magic mike where like the matriarch or the patriarch you know of the strip club kind of give like an epic uh dance because that's the only time that we ever really see um jennifer give like this uh solo like big time performance you just end up later on kind of seeing her doing like little mini little like strip tease um deals but never like up on the pole like she did there like i said earlier in the video it has been getting a lot of hype um it did amazing apparently in uh, the toronto film festival like i personally i don't see it or even me and my sisters we left the theater and we're like it's okay and we do get a surprise cameo and i'm not gonna say who he is officially other than yeah omg my boo there's no limit in what he can do i mean he's moving mountains and let me see i'm sure he's a good kisser and i don't mind him being a little freak but those are just part of my confessions 
I think we're all cut up now, right? And overall, the movie, it was just all right. I mean, it wasn't necessarily what I expected it to be. Uh, the first part is really more fun and entertaining. The second part, we do get a little bit more on the serious note. That's when more of the illegal situations kind of start happening. They did the job of making the audience feel, or in my case, it made me feel like I was in the strip club. I have been to uh, a couple strip clubs, so you know, it was like, oh, okay, yeah. Would I rewatch the movie? No. Do I recommend for you guys to go and check this movie out? No. I think you should save your money on this. I cannot pinpoint what other movie this reminds me of. If you've seen the movie and it also reminds you of another movie and you actually know which one it is, let me know down below because it's kind of driving me crazy. At one point, I kind of said Domino, but like, uh, just kind of like because of the whole kind of going back and forth within the storyline because I believe in Domino they are also doing like an interview if I'm not mistaken so it kind of and but I really don't think it's Domino the one that I'm thinking of it did you guys guess who the cameo was so I guess I did have one kind of spoiler but it's not really a spoiler because if you're like me you wouldn't have got the reference so it's kind of like a little easter egg kind of deal i don't know but let me know down below what you guys thought about that and before you click out of this video please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet go ahead and hit the notification bell to so be notified each other that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye